well in some ways this is a bit of a sad day for me this is my uh, beloved S4 didn't actually see, think I'd see the day when she would go I've had her for the last five or six years uh, a little unusual there are 4.2 V8 uh, engine in this model, as I'm sure most of you probably know looking at this uh, video. Uh, pretty much standard externally, sitting on the standard S style wheels, six spokes. It's got a recent set of Goodyear tyres all round. Got Xenon headlamps in the front, parking sensors. The S-Series gets the uh, square cut grills, have head out washing those concealed in the bumper there. Colour coded trim, silver mirror caps. This particular car, I've, as I said, we've had uh, in our stock for the last five or six years, I've predominantly used the car been modified uh, to stage 2 on the engine so it's run a stage 2 map sports uh, catalytic converters which are a larger bore uh, in the cells within the, the cap and then a mill tech full mill tech from the cats back to the tailpipes there cost of which if we booked it in to do the job probably would come to around two and a half three thousand pounds just for that modification and then the remapping on top of that not everyone's cup of tea but as you can probably imagine she goes fairly well I'll... okay inside we got full black leather electric seats electric lumber on the bottom there aluminium trim quattro logo Got sat nav in the car, big screen colour, dual zone air conditioning, centre armrest. Give you a seat belt. Good thing about these A4s is they are good big enough to get four adults in in some reasonable comfort. Pretty pretty unique in that respect. And the roof all folds nice and flat in the back under the cubby hole that's in the boot here the extra load area there that can be lifted when the roof's not being used and you've got a little bit more stowage boot okay get the foot pack there something I don't normally bother to do but we'll just start this one up Had the engine out about a year ago. Again, some of you that may be looking at other propositions, they've got a couple of smallish problems really, but quite difficult to get to on timing chains. We've actually taken the um, engine and gearbox out of the car and we've renewed all of the Vanos units, which are the camshaft control units that play up, and the chain system, the cost of which parts alone were. Fifteen hundred pounds, and then to fit, so it's probably a four grand, four thousand pound job to do. Um, I'll just show you the roof. Single button control. If any of you have found our Facebook page, on there within the photo galleries, there are some pictures of this that particular job the engine job being done and various stages of dismantling and reassembling you can see what sort of an undertaking it is it's a big unit to get out there go, and the windows will come up automatically that's it um 73,000 miles i've had the car for around from around 60 so not done a tremendous amount of mileage in the last few years but 
lovely car, a lot of fun, the roof off and the performance aspect to it. Probably not the cheapest, but it's had as much as we're advertising the car for spent on it in the last probably three years, I suppose. But um, anyway, time to go. We've got a S5 lurking outside, which is going to replace it. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you.